Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through building a scanner in inventory. And the great thing is the scanner I'm going to help you build is the Applied GPO scanner. Uh, it's a very popular scanner. Now, again, this doesn't come natively with inventory, so I'm going to show you how to do it so you can use it to know what has been applied on your machines. To build a new scanner, you go to Options, Scan Profiles, and obviously we're going to select a new one. New scanner, new scan profile comes up. We need to name this. I'm just going to call this my GPO scan profile and let's add a scanner. At this point, I'm going to go add a WMI scanner. Okay, the great thing about this, again, uh, I'm going to walk you through this process, make it super easy. Let's name our scanner. And the importance about the scanner name is it's going to actually build a table where the data is housed. So we'll call this applied GPO because that's the table I want it to be in. And then we need to come up with a WQL query, kind of like a SQL query, except it's for WMI. Not so good with that, but thank goodness the developers have this launch the WMI Explorer button here, which kicks this bad boy off right here. Now, at this point, I'm going to go search for my GPO information. I need to connect to the machine, and then from here, it's a bunch of double clicks. I just so happen to know, if you look under root RSOP, RSOP computer, and then the quick filter makes it easy. We'll just search for GPO under the quick filter there. There it is. I highlight it. You'll notice right here, it wrote the query for me, which is great. Um, again, I love that because I'm not so good at writing these things. But I always like to hit execute on these for two reasons. One, to see if it returns data, which it did. And two, to see how fast that data comes back. Because, you know, if it takes 40 minutes for that data to come back, think about that on each of your machines. It's going to take 40 minutes. You know, you may need the data, you may not, but at least you know how long it's going to run. This was pretty instant, so at this point, I'm going to copy the uh, query. I'm going to minimize this. Oh, let me maximize that really quick. The other thing I need to know is the namespace right here, that root RSOP computer, because that's where we're going to look in WMI. So we'll go back here, and we'll paste in that select statement, and then we're going to change the namespace to RSOP and Spelling is important here. If you do it wrong, you're not not going to have a good time. Uh, computer. Now, the other thing that's nice is it's not case sensitive. So there it is. Apply GPO. We're looking under. There's the root. We've already applied that or supplied that for you. RSOP computer. I give it OK. At this point, I can trigger this, you know, set it to run on its own. That's another video. But right now, let's just save this guy and go run it on all the machines. See what our data looks like. I'm going to right click, go to scan collection, GPO. There it is. I'm kicking that scanner off. And we saw it ran really fast. The only overhead is the connecting to it and returning the data. So we should see some data coming back fairly quickly. Check it out. We got a bunch of them running. Boom. Data's coming back. Let's just pick, uh, we'll go take a look at the machine, Beth. Once that opens up, we're going to scroll down on the left hand panel over here to WMI. And then if you look right here, if you have multiple G, uh, applied, or excuse me, WMI queries, here's where those table names are coming into play. Look at that. Applied GPO. If I scroll to the right, I can see, hey, there it is. There is the name of the applied GPOs on this machine. Now, I just built that. You can now write reports, do dynamic collections off of that. So let's see, laps. Let's just do a real quick new dynamic collection. Give me all the machines. Let's go find that WMI table. It's at the bottom. Apply GPO. Name contains laps. We'll name this LAPS for laps. Give it an OK. And then right down here at the bottom, we should get all the machines that have the laps GPO applied to it. There we go. Check it out. 24 of my 34 machines. And we'll just do a quick check on that. We'll look at Jerry. And verify that, yep. Jerry does have, there it is, laps. So once again, I now have workable data that I pulled from each of the machines. So, you know, I can now go find the ones that need to have laps applied to them, so on and so forth. But that's how you would build an applied GPO scanner and just build a scanner in general, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.